Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. As Rick Scott boarded his private jet, two state planes sat idle in the state hangar a quarter mile away. Newspapers say McCullum billed taxpayers $280,000 for air travel. Misuse of the planes helped Scott win the GOP primary, and he made a promise. I'll put an end to pet spending projects. Sell the state airplane. As one of his first official acts, Scott has ordered the plane sold. A bid is due February 9th. The, uh, as you know, in the campaign, I said I was going to sell the state plane. It's a camp, camp promise I made, and I'm going to live up to him. And are you going to um, charge the state for any of the overhead or the use of the plane, or are you going to pay this out of your own pocket? I'm paying it out of my own pocket. The planes are being sold as is, and a 10% deposit will be forfeited if the winning bidder doesn't close the deal. Right now, the state spends about $2.5 million a year flying and maintaining these planes. The 2003 Cessna Bravo has a price range between two and a quarter and three million in online listings. The 2000 King Air has a listed value between a million and a half and three million. As for other state officials who have use of the planes, Scott says, Yeah, they can drive or fly, commercial. But air service in and out of Tallahassee is spotty at best. I, Rick Scott, do solemnly swear. At 9 a.m. on the morning that Rick Scott took office, the 11 employees who work in the state air pool were told their jobs were ending January 31st. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vasilinda reporting.